Hey, what's up? It is Cody here from Gold City Ventures. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically insert images into Canva. So I'm on Canva here, canva.com. Just log in and you can create a design, any design that you want. You can choose the dimensions. I just have a regular size piece of paper here, eight and a half by 11 for the purposes of this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, whatever image or picture I want to dynamically insert or just put into my image, I'm going to go to uploads. So right now I'm on templates. I'm going to click on uploads here and I'm going to upload an image or video. I have these on my desktop. Let me go to my desktop here. Awesome. And so I have pictures of myself and my girlfriend on a ski trip and at a wedding. So I'm just going to upload these real quick and then you'll see they'll populate here. So the first thing we're going to do, so now I have these pictures in here. So now we can go and start to use them in our images. So the first thing we're going to do is go to elements and we're going to be focusing on the grids and the frames elements. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the grids elements. Now, basically this farm looking thing, this cloud with these hills, this allows you to just drag and drop an image in here. So I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So let's just click on this one just for sake of example. You can see I have three different grids here. We have this top left, this top right, and this bottom. Now, if I go back to my uploads and I drag over, now this is important. If I just click on this, it's just gonna populate right in the middle. If I drag it over, it's going to drag directly into the frame. And now once it's in the frame, I can actually double click and I can move it left and right. So this is the picture kind of locked in this frame. And now let me put these up here. I can just drag these in here. Now this isn't something I'd typically create. I'm just showing you the functionality here, but you can double click. Like I said, you can expand. So if I want to make this even bigger, I could expand from the bottom left corner and then I could click out of it. And again, I can double click. I can move it around. Perfect. So that is basically a grid. Let me just show you an example of a different grid. So let's go back to elements again. That's where the grids are. And I want these three elongated ones. Uh, let's get rid of these old ones, this old grid. And I'll get rid of the old grid and the three elongated ones. I'm going to upload. Now this is going to be a bit squished, but you can see I can just drag them in here. Again, if I just click on it, it's just going to populate on top but super easy to drag and drop different pictures that you have uploaded into these here. And I love using this for the functionality that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So let's go over to frames. So that's grids. Grid basically takes up the entirety of the page. So it will have grids over the whole page. Now frames are a little bit different. So if I go over to elements and I go to frames, now you can see there's all these different frame shapes. We have a regular circle, you have a laptop or a computer background, you have a square, you have a, a triangle, a circle, all this different stuff. So if I click on this, now I can drag and drop. You can see there's already a picture frame here. I can even change the color of the picture frame. And I could just drag and drop one of these pictures I just uh, uploaded, perfect. Or if I want to, let's see, let's do a different frame here. Let me go back to elements, frames, Okay, let's do this little background one. This looks like a nice picture and I can drag and drop us into this. And again, if I wanna resize, I can double click. I can drag from the top left corner or any corner and I can drag it larger. One thing you can't do, so as you can see, the left and the right, I'm at the very smallest it could possibly be. It wouldn't even fill up the frame if I went any smaller, so it's not allowing me to make this smaller. But I can make it as large as I want as long as the frame is filled up. Now, if I wanna actually adjust the size of the frame, so I double clicked to adjust the size of the picture within the frame, but if I wanna adjust the actual size of the frame, I can do this and just drag from the corner. You'll know which one is selected because when you double click and select the picture, the frame gets kind of grayed out or it's a little blurry here and you know that you just have the picture. So that is frames in a nutshell. You can use any type of frame you want and you can drag any picture that you upload into it. So let's look at a real example. So I made this in two seconds. It's pretending I have my 25th birthday party coming up. One, two, three, Main Street, Mainsville, Maine. <laughs> so let's say I wanna just throw my face on here and let's use a little circle thing. So let's go over to elements again and I'm gonna go to frames. Perfect, and let's see. I know there's a circle with a border, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit just so it can fit in here. And I'm gonna throw it right in the middle. You can see it's aligned. Perfect. I'm gonna have this outside edge be black just for the sake of this video and uploads. Do I have any pictures of myself? I have one from a YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> so let's throw this one in here. 
Awesome. So join us at Cody's 25th. I just threw my face in here. If I want to throw Julie's face in here, I can totally do that as well. And it looks like she's getting a little cut off so I can move her down. Awesome. If I want to throw the picture of my girlfriend and I in here, I can do that. Now, what I shouldn't do is just click on it because again, then it won't populate. It will just go on top and then I can click delete or undo. And that is it. That is the grid and frame tools. This is how you can dynamically insert your own images into Canva. It makes your designs look a lot more professional and it can make your design really stand out. So that is it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.